Uh, I think the good news is I didn't break my laptop. I still have a laptop after watching that. Um, I think we're all really, really frustrated. And I think the only way forward is to, is to have a good week of training, and the guys have done that. Um, we're all out of quarantine. Everybody's healthy. That's that's the most important thing. That nobody was really sick. Um, but we're 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 mad. I mean, there's no way of getting around it. We're angry because um, just two weeks ago we were in really good form. We we're playing well, uh, and then through a series of strange events, all of a sudden we're three losses in a row. And um, I think we really want to make that right. I think we've we've had ambitions to be successful this year, but we also more than that we we take pride in how we perform, how we carry ourselves, and from the staff all the way down, I mean, it's that, that's not who we are against Madison. Now, nothing to take away from Daryl and his players at Madison, they were really good that night. They, we took their best shot, I think, and they're a good team, he's a great coach, but, but we were terrible. And so as a staff, we take responsibility for that, and I think the players are taking responsibility for that, and we're, we're gonna make it right on Saturday. I guess the one positive would be that we were unified the whole time. Uh, the guys are really committed to going out there and doing the best we could. Um, unfortunately, we didn't quite live up to that, and we have some things to change, but we showed that we're responsible enough to go there and address it seriously, and now with the coaching staff involved, we're gonna be pushing for three points this weekend. Well, I think the challenge of not being able to practice for three and a half weeks and having just games and games and games and games, what was, and how we wanna play, you have to train it every day. You have to, you have to breed your identity every day in training and, and work on weak points and, and emphasize your strengths and, you know, for three whatever weeks, it was just game, recovery, prep, recovery, game. And it, we never really got to get after in training, and I think we lost a little bit of sharpness. And um, I think that showed, 100% that showed in the last two matches. So I think we're regaining that sharpness this week, and uh, we want to make sure that, that who we are, what we believe in, how we want to play is, is readily apparent when you watch us. And, and that, that wasn't the case on Saturday. We want to be compact out of possession with a plan to win it back. We want to be aggressive, we we're in possession, we want to move the ball quickly, we want to be dynamic going forward, and we weren't any of those things on Saturday. And so as a staff, we took a hard look at ourselves, and you know, frankly, we weren't there. Um, it's not necessarily fair to the guys, but I think given the circumstances, I still think they handle themselves with class. And we, again, we just want to make it right. We want to make it right on Saturday. I think we're just going to try and be a bit more aggressive. I think that's one of the main things that we've been lacking lately. And uh, the guys have spoken about that and we need to step that up on our end because that's in our control. So definitely going out and being more aggressive and trying to impose ourselves even though we're not at home. We respect Chattanooga and how they want to play. I think uh, Jimmy has done a very good job of, of bringing a different brand that was different than last year. I think they're a very front foot aggressive team. I think he's got some dangerous attacking players, especially the young man Hurst, who's who's a handful. Um, so we have to we have to be cautious with them, but also make sure that we're imposing our will in the game as well. Uh, I think we performed well last game. Um, I expect it to be really tight down to the last minute, like it was last game. Um, you know, we're just wanting a good competitive match, and, and we're there for three points. And then I'll ask about playing at one o'clock. Um, probably some heat. In Chattanooga, how, how are you going to deal with that? Uh, Chattanooga Heat and Statesboro Heat are two different animals. Um, I mean, it's harder right now in the morning than it ever will be in Chattanooga the peak of the day. So we, we train in the heat every single day. And so we're not worried about it. I think we have to be, you know, careful. But we actually have healthy players, so we have five subs. This is the first time we've had that. So um, I think we'll use them, and that'll, and, and that'll help us get through the game. It's huge, especially if you're on the road and you get a quick goal at their place. It allows you to kind of dictate how the play goes and they're a little bit more desperate for the ball which allows them to kind of be a little rash and then we can pick them apart from that so hopefully we can get a quick one this weekend.